So here's a prime example of what I'm talking about. This tenant right here has lived in my apartment for 12 months without paying a dime. Him and his wife and his two children. He said he was out of work and that's why he couldn't pay his rent. So guess what we did? We offered him a job. He's a cabinet maker. We said, come work for us in my construction company. Even if you want to do maintenance, we offered him a job. He turned it down three times in writing, yet he still gets to stay there and not pay rent because of the moratorium. His wife is collecting unemployment, plus the bonus of 300 a week, which is 1200 a month, which by the way, his rent is only 1000 a month. And they refuse. She turned down a job three times. We offered her an office job, something that's unskilled labor, to give them an opportunity to work and better themselves. And they've chosen to turn it down and wave the moratorium at us. And of course, as you're all well aware, the moratorium has been extended into October and they still get to live for free, setting a terrible example for their kids, refusing to work. Who does that? Setting an example? I don't want to work. I want to collect unemployment. I don't want to pay my rent. That's what we're, that's what we're training people to do now these days. Yet, you folks don't understand why I get upset. 12 months, do the math, $12,000 has not had to pay a dime because of the moratorium. He will owe it later. Of course, we can go after all the unpaid rent, but unfortunately, you can't get blood out of a stone. But this is the shame of it all right here. But this thing I must to talk, oh, yeah, yeah, all my people, they for Bujo, and I